Welcome to this week's month's episode of Van Haven TV. And this episode is dedicated to a gentleman called Alex P. Because you asked, what is our personal dream van? So now mine is not quite ready. Our next video, or maybe the video after that, once it is built, I'll show you that. But Burnsy's is, and this is it. So Burnsy, this is my slash Sean's van. Uh, we got on famously when Sean came up to meet us and design his own vehicle. Uh, we've got an awful lot in common, uh, Sean and I. We both have a penchant uh, for a lighter interior. And we wanted to create something that was very smart looking, aggressive, uh, but also quite sophisticated. I love the colours that you've chosen and that interior, I have to say, is quite sensational. It is becoming a theme because the Burnsy build on the Burnsy van also had this amazing camel interior and I think married up with the deep pearl black instead of the starlight blue, it pops just as much and I'll be really, really keen. I say I, that's the royal I, that is we are so keen to hear what you guys think of a camel lined interior on a black van. So the big question when we're designing a van, we will ask you, what is your vibe? What do you like? And it just so happens that Sean likes the same bands as me. We like impressive, visually impressively stanced vehicles. With the vans, we like them to look super low and a bit obscure in how they sit maybe when parked. And this stance is achieved exclusively with air ride suspension. Air ride gives you the benefit of really aggressive stance when parked up. You could take this thing to a show, couldn't you, at the weekends and it would turn heads. But at the same time, it's got to be comfortable and usable for everyday life. Everything, I have to say, is just Perfect, Burnsy. It is so you. When you open the doors, the contrast of that camel with the black, with the carbon fibre on the rear, with the little matched pinstripe and, and piping is just absolutely biblical. It is a real head turner. And the spoiler, we're incredibly proud of it. The paint shop have really gone to town as well. This beautiful line um, that's been painted just onto the outer, the outer rim. Um, she looks very, very smart. And a little eight mil gap just here, just fluting on the exterior um, of the spoiler. Now that is really essential for the tiny details. And I know, when we were doing the carbon fiber works and the paint shop, everyone was quite, that's gonna be really difficult to pull it off. It's a load of extra work for a very, very, very small detail. But when the van sits and you look down the sidelines of the vehicle, that little lift out just looks so correct. And it looks like it's kind of floating. It does, that was the brief. A floating ducktail carbon with a little bit of colored pinstripe in there. Awesome. So Sean has owned some rather beautiful, exotic Italian cars in the past, and he has been known to have a sort of more, like a lighter, more bespoke uh, interior option. And it was from seeing another van that I had previously built using this sort of similar colour. Um, he absolutely loved it and we needed to build it into the van. Um, Sean really wanted to sort of add a dose of the carbon inside the van as well to bring the outside in. And yeah, we used the same lining, optics we've done in the, the satin black, so it all, it all works together. We've added a pop of chrome to match the bright work on the um, exterior of the van, obviously with the wheels. Uh, the wheel choice itself, we really were quite infatuated with spoke design because we really wanted the, the, the big brake kit to, to pop. The wheel choice for these vehicles is so important. Now, these wheels particularly have been used a lot over the years. Um, we call it a Valletta wheel. Now, this we've put onto so many different vehicles and it's amazing how on this particular van, 
they totally change the aesthetics and the, and the theme of the vehicle. Um, the van, uh, the carbon van, which I want to be showing you guys in the future, it's a matte black vehicle and it's running on a, on a set of like split five spokes. Very, very widely used amongst the in industry, but on that van they just work so well. It's amazing how, how wheels can, can change in themselves as well, you know, like, and not just well, how they enhance the body of, the, of, of your van. But it's how, they, how the wheels affect the overall composition. And uh, we have a lot of help from Darren, don't we? Who helps us with the, the offsets and how they work with the suspension, uh, the tire profile, how wide the tire is. So we actually haven't staggered uh, these wheels at all because comfort was quite a priority. And if we staggered the wheels, we'd have to stretch the tires and then you lose a bit of comfort, so. Metallic satin black internal optics, that is beautiful how it pops off the gloss black going around that digi dash is also really really premium um, i love this satin black it just pops so well look at the contrast with the napa leather steering wheel and the uh and, and that matte black but then the light of the optic is exactly the same color as the caravel or the platinum plus dashboards really well thought out bernsey Bernsey, here we are at the rear of Sean's van and it's a nice place to be. It is indeed. This is going to be like a toy hauler, bikes, activity van and with after much discussion uh, we decided not to put the Alcantara in the back here just because it is a little more fragile than most. Sean's going to be putting his bikes in. The last thing we would want is for a handlebar or a pedal to be pushed up against the wall and rip the Alcantara. So. The carpet is a far more durable uh, material to use and was the right choice for, for the job. It's, um, it's worth noting that when you go and have a look at the lining works in a lot of places that you will have a join here and here. Now, all of our vans at Van Haven, we work really, really hard to have what we call a seamless carpet line. Um, it's just future proofing. With the heat and all that kind of stuff, the vehicle's always going to expand and whatnot. Less joins, the better. Correct. So it's a real art um, to get the boys do this. Um, there are no visible carpet joins in any of the vans at Van Haven, and it's something that everyone mentions when they come and pick up their vehicles from people who've had many, many transporters in the past. Yeah. And um, on this particular van, it's really apparent. That is a beautiful job. and. Um, yeah, it's really, really crisp. Also, the, um, the pops that we use, these are great. And I've noticed that you've used these throughout the entire of this build so that in the future, Sean can whip a panel off and get in there to add or amend or change bits and bobs, audio, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, the back of the leather looks absolutely sensational. Mm, I think someone in another video commented that um, our leather looks wrinkly. Uh, and there's actually a very good reason behind that. So over time, as the leather heats up and the van gets warm, the leather will shrink, won't it, to the actual seats. We actually have to design a little bit of give in, in the seat so that when we put the leather on over the seat, we can actually put the leather on. Um, so those wrinkles over time will completely yeah, just get really tight and the fitment will be absolutely perfect. It will be perfect. Well, Burnsy, it's very, very nice to see a true Tom Burns van and a true Sean van. And you guys together have absolutely nailed it. Love to know your opinion on this particular vehicle. I personally think it's an, an absolute work of art and it would grace any driveway. So fair play, brief, given, job, executed by yourself in design and the boys in the workshop beautifully. I'm genuinely excited to hand this one over and hang out with Sean again and um, I hope he's happy with it. Cool. I am. It's beautiful. Well, I think it's time, Molly, for you to reveal your 2023 most favourite Van Haven build. So we build exclusively the UK's finest VW transporters. 
but sometimes we go off piste. And we go on piste only for the very, very special reasons. And we've got a number one fan. Yeah. And their build is coming around now. So it's a bit different. It is. It doesn't have much cargo space. It doesn't have much carbon on it. Not much carbon. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Izzy's, who's 10 tomorrow, it's the 29th today, Van Haven spec'd pedal go-kart as requested. And Marcus and Janie at Haven Body Works have custom built this for her, and she is one of our biggest fans. And I have to say, this, part next to that, <laughs> it just works, man. It's really cool. I love the colors, it's so smart. Uh, Izzy, a very happy birthday to you. We really hope you enjoy your beautiful... One of one. One of one. Van Haven spec pedal go-kart. <laughs>